Hello guys. guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Bukumi BK Crow. Hope you guys are feeling good. So guys, I'm here with a guest. My name is Abuga which is super, super excited to be here. Um, um, so what are we doing today? So guys, we're going to be checking out a video together titled, titled She Admits a Magic Field of Muslims. Hmm. Let's check it out. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. Welcome to an eye-opening video. It's not the eyes that are blind, but it's our hearts. What's your understanding of black magic? Do you think it exists? Does it have any impact? We as Muslims know that it exists. It works. It's done for jealousy. It's done to cause separation between man and his wife. It's done for so many other evil reasons. It's selling Akira for a cheaper price. Worst deal and deed one can ever actually encounter. It's known as Seher in Arabic. I'm sure there's a word for it in every language. If you wonder where did this actually come up from, Quran tells us about it in Surah Baqarah verse 102. Ancient Babylon is very interesting to read and understand. All the magic that exists today somehow will go back to Babylon. There's zero benefit with black magic. Coming straight to the point, see this video. It made me speechless for a moment. Does it mean that it's more difficult to influence a person if he keeps his thoughts in purity? Yes, absolutely. When faced with various religions, it is very difficult to influence Muslims. They are in a constant connection with the aggregor. They do namaz every day and read prayers on a daily basis. They are constantly under some kind of a dome, so it is very difficult to influence them. When you start impacting a person, he begins to address in a prayer. Indeed, many of them are very different from those who come to church only when everything is bad in their life. They come to pray and then for five years they forget about God, some canons and so on. Muslims, as a rule, passionately believe and passionately give energy to their egregor. And this egregor protects them very well. That's why it is very difficult to work to make any kind of influence on a true Muslim believer. Is this some kind of a good egregore? Well, for them, yes. This egregore is good for adepts who contribute good energy to it. How do you sense it? For instance, you have found an energy trace of such person. What's next? Do you try to drag him somehow to visualize this threat and you fail? Or how do you do that? It disappears. I cannot get a grip on it. I focus on it, but something immediately knocks me out of the flow. Just like that. Or I visualize a person in front of me clearly and can affect him even at a mental level, but some image is not created in my mind at all. I even look at a photo, reproduce an image, but it vanishes from my mind. Thus, I can clearly see that a person is covered with something. Does this only work with Muslims? It does for me. Subhanallah. Hana Hushneer, a Russian sorcerer, reveals her experience of practicing witchcraft on Muslims. The kind of contrast she mentioned other faiths with Islam. We say Islam is true. We know it's the ultimate truth. How many of us actually live by it? Salah. Salah is the key. The moment you fix Salah, many things in your life get fixed. In fact, it fixes your entire life with knowledge and practice. Insha'Allah, the kind of protection it offers us from magic is told by this woman. Sometimes we are too lazy to pray or we are busy with the meeting, cooking food, all of a sudden it's Salah time. How are we looking at it? Consider it as a meeting, the most important meeting and pour your heart into it. Inshallah, declutter from dunya. It's not worth it over our Salah. Subhanallah, this video is an eye-opener. This is a non-Muslim woman saying it. She's not going to get anything in return by manifesting the truth about our faith. May Allah guide her. The dome she was talking about is the protection from Allah. Defeat shaitan brothers and sisters. If you fail and sin again, repent. Your Lord is the most merciful. Sadaqah avoids calamity. Similarly, Salah, this is a priceless gift from our Lord, which is not just protection from magic, 
it's rewarding it's the key to jannah so let's start praying may allah make us steadfast and keep us under his protection ameen that's it for today brothers and sisters i hope you like the video let us know your thoughts in the comment section below beautiful beautiful so um i really understand a point of view in the aspects of which muslims love to pray a lot five times daily so if you communicate with god you pray a lot you know this is from sin no evil can come to you even christians as long as you you worship god and you have a pure heart a pure mind no evil can come your way that's my belief too so i believe even if she uses magic on christians too it might also fail it might also fail well i think um what he's saying is the prayer prayer is a key even in christianity believe prayer is a key and when you're able to communicate with god you're able to talk to god i believe a lot of things a lot of Covenants you get when you always see, even in case you see he that, um, as this say, abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You know, you are covered. There's this covering that you get from prayer. See, when you speak to God, you know, it's just who you are. Like, God will definitely, like, you know, there's this thing that will be different from you because you're always in, in his tabernacle, you're always in his presence, you mm -hmm. know, like, you always make yourself. Oh, like you're marking a register. Oh, I'm present. I came to school today. Mm. Oh, oh, I'm present. I came to work today. Definitely, there's a reward you get f for that. You know, either you, if you're in school, you're getting knowledge. You, yeah. if you're at work, you're you getting paid. At, yes. So that is the way it is. So you're marking yourself like when God is like the call to prayers to me. Like when you call, like your father calling all his children. You know, mm. it's a present, present. Okay. Now you are covered because yes. you know. Then you that you decide like the stray sheep when you leave out from the covering or from the fold, you, you are easily targeted. But when mm. you are under that covering, under the shield, yes, you know but that is the thing. That's why I, I, when you said you can't easily get them, definitely because if you dedicate that much to prayer, speaking to God, like you know, definitely you you are protected. I mean, I believe you no know, prayer of the heart too matters. Some people might not pray aloud. They might be praying in their heart and God will still protect them. You can't just say that, ah, this person, I don't see you pray. No, you cannot just conclude that, oh, because she doesn't kaba, she doesn't shout to pray. That means, okay, she's not really closer to God or something. No, we all pray differently. The main thing is make sure that, you know, you pray every time and you commit your days into the hands of the Lord and You'll be you know, protected. True. You'll be protected. So, guys, that's all for today. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like, share, and comment. And I'll be dropping you know, his channel link in the description box for more reaction videos. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.